Phil Mackey, Tom Pelissero, 1500 ESPN.com. We're hanging out here in the media snack room. The only place where there's not a loud volume knob right. on somewhere. At but. Target Field. Uh, so, some big news with the Twins and the Vikings this Friday. Let's start with the Vikings. Brett Favre officially announces on his website after a Chris Mortensen report on ESPN.com that he did indeed have ankle surgery finally. Color me not surprised. I mean, I, I've been saying this all along, and that's based on people that I've talked to around the league and based on history. Favre never wants to play football in February, March, mm -hmm. April. By this time of year, it's almost the exact timeline that it followed last year with shoulder surgery, and that's not a surprise. And so the timetable for recovery is four to six weeks, which takes us right up until the end of July, beginning of training camp. The we'll see said him that the Monday after the first preseason game. It's just he might the be only jogging on the sidelines. You the never know. only question in my mind—that's true. That's a good point—is whether he might show up and do some light throwing drills or something the final week of training camp. The only question to me is when will he announce that he's coming back? Because I don't see a reason to go through the same charade if it was a charade last summer. I think there was real doubt with Brett Favre last summer. I don't think that that same doubt is there this year. The Williams Wall trial has been on again, off again for two years now. It looks like the NFL is going to ultimately win the case, but the appeals process now, as it came out today, it's going to let the Williams probably play all season. Yeah, and the judge in his decision said that he thinks that the Williams wall will win its appeal through the next process, which only extends it based on everything that I've read from people who know a lot more about the legal side of this than I do. The, they're going to play this season, and, and it's just going to be something that's going to drag on and on. And let's not forget, Pat Williams is in the last year of his contract. This could be the last year that Pat Williams plays in the NFL. Right, he's 38, 39 years old. So. It doesn't matter a whole lot if he gets suspended when you're, when you're not in the league. Okay, so then the Twins game tonight, which, by the way, kicks off almost the exact same time that the first Brett Favre mm -hmm. report comes out. That was fun dealing with all that. And then immediately... It's one of the weirdest starts to a game I've ever seen. Dave Bush nearly comes to blows with the home plate umpire in a seven-run first inning. It ends up being 15 to nothing by the time that Carlos Gomez hits a three-run home run mm -hmm. and then pimps it and struts to first base. <laughs> Basically, I, I was in the Brewers locker room after the game. He more or less admitted, yeah, I think I'm probably going to get one in the ribs tomorrow. I'm going to take it like a man. Yeah. What do you make of that game? Well, and Gomez referred to Blackburn as maybe it was a language barrier thing, but he a basically referred but as his, good as his only good friend from that clubhouse. And Blackburn, after the game, basically he referred to Gomez as that guy a few times and said it wasn't a surprise that Gomez would flip the bat and showboat. Hey, he cut the lead to 12, so you might as well showboat, right? But, yeah, it's funny that Gomez thinks he's going to get drilled with a pitch sometime this weekend, and he might be right. I thought it was telling, too, uh, you know, the way that the series kind of set up here. Number one, you looked at the series and thought, this is a series where the Twins offense can get back on track. And number two, if you can get into that bad Brewers bullpen and do some damage, you're going to be able to, to make a difference over the course of the series. Mm -hmm. The Brewers went through four, four pitchers had to throw eight and, or uh, seven and two-thirds innings tonight out of their bullpen. You know, already they're in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, Jeff Supon, who was bumped out of the starting rotation earlier this year, he's, I can't believe he still has a job in the big leagues, to be quite honest with you, but this pitching staff is a complete mess. And so the Twins broke their streak. Remember when they scored double-digit runs in the first inning, six straight games a couple weeks ago? Then they went 10 or 11 straight games without scoring in the first inning. Now they're back to crooked numbers in the first inning. And so uh, if, if the bats were slumbering there for a while, this is the pitching staff you can tee off on, as they proved He's Phil. I'm Tom. I thought you were going to say a little more there. I could. I you could go deeper. Up. No, we're good. Well, actually, let's real quick. Ed, Rapp, have you ever seen a, a an umpire charge the mound before? No, that because was because I've never seen that. Before. It, it was really strange. And Bush kind of, you know, he he played it very much down the middle. He didn't take any shots at the umpire after the game. I don't know. It, it's a tough call. I mean, I think if they, you read the lips. Rapuano was way out of line. If you're a lip reader, I just I, I just don't know that there's a lot of times when a, when a guy protests one pitch to go running out there. It's not right. like he had been you know, showing body language through that entire inning or something. If the NBA ref was fined for tossing a ball to a fan, casually, sort of casually, yeah. an umpire charging the mound aggressively, throwing F-bombs at one the point, pitcher. At one point, Bush had to be held back. I mean, Craig Council mm -hmm. had him around the waist and was holding him back. And then a couple of batters later, it seemed like Rad Buono actually felt bad because yeah. Bush balked and then allowed two more runs, and it was just a complete mess. Yeah, and then Bush, it was funny, too, because he was asked, you know, well, what was being said there? And he basically gave the, I, I blacked out excuse. He was just like, <laughs> oh, I don't know, it kind of all happened I woke really up fast. and Jeff Supon was in the game. Apparently. <laughs> He's Phil, I'm Tom. I think I already did this. Yeah. You want to be done this time? We'll see ya. That was awesome.